Number seven, place the heart in your dissecting tray with the ventral side facing you. Refer to the picture in the manual. The ventral position means you will be looking at the person's chest from the front view. Eight, observe the outside wall of the heart. The dark line running from the upper right diagonally to the lower left is the left coronary artery. Coronary arteries provide blood to the heart muscle itself. Remember that all tissues, including the heart itself, needs the oxygen delivered by blood. Label the coronary artery with a flag. Number nine, note that at the bottom of the heart, there it comes to a point called the apex. Number 10, to the right and above the apex is the left ventricle. Remember, it is left because of the presentation. 11, use your finger to push on the outside wall of the left ventricle and notice the firmness of the chamber. 12, note that to the left and above the apex is the right ventricle. 13, use your finger and push on its outside wall. Compare it to the left ventricle. Notice it compresses easier than the left ventricular wall. In the space below, differentiate between the functions of the left and right ventricles. 15, note that above the ventricles is an area called the base of the heart. At each side, left and right, there are ear-like extensions of the atria called auricles. Under each auricle are the left atrium and the right atrium. Number 16, in the space below, explain the functions of the left and right atria. 17, extending out of the right atrium is the superior vena cava vein. Place a probe into it and see that it leads directly into the right atrium. This is a good strategy to be sure that it is the correct structure. 18, in the space below, explain the function of the superior vena cava. 19, next to the superior vena cava is the aorta a large branching artery that leads to the left ventricle. The aorta is a, has a branch called the brachiocephalic artery. It may seem to be a separate structure, but in fact is all part of the aorta. Place your finger or probe into it and see that it leads directly into the left ventricle. 20, in the space below, explain the function of the aorta. 21, look to the right, which is really the left, of the aorta and see the pulmonary veins. Use a probe or your finger and see where they lead, and it should be into the left atrium. 22, in the space below, explain the function of the pulmonary veins. 23, if desired, take a picture of your labeled heart or make a sketch of your heart in your laboratory journal. We're now moving to the internal dissection. 24, place the heart with the ventricle, not ventricle, place the heart with the ventral side facing you. The ventral position means you would be looking at a person's chest from the front view. Refer to your toothpick labels as needed for landmarks. Move the flags if they're getting in the way of your cuts. Add additional flags to the internal structures when possible. 25, find the right atrium. 26, use the scalpel to cut through the entire length of the right atrium. Cut through to the cavity, but not through to the other side. That's how we did it. See ya. Twenty-seven. Gently pull back the tissue, exposing the inside of the cavity. Observe the tissue in the wall and the inside of the cavity. Twenty-nine. Use your metric ruler to measure the thickness in millimeters of the atrium wall and record your measurement. 30. Number 30, cut open the superior vena cava and carefully pull back the tissue. You should see thin flaps of tissue that almost look like leaflets. That this is the tricuspid valve. Based on the name tricuspid, how many leaflets should you see? 31. Feel the leaflets with your finger and describe them in the, in the space below. I got a lot of extra going on there. 32. <laughs> observe the fibrous cords that are attached to the valve and help hold it in place. These are called the chordae tendinae and they extend to the right ventricle. The chordae tendinae are attached to the papillary muscle which hold the fibers of the wall of the ventricle. Both the chordae tendineae and the papillary muscle are essential for the valve to work correctly. 
33, gently tug on one of the chordae tendinae and observe what happens to the valve. 34, describe the function of the tricuspid valve in the space below. 35, use the scalpel to make a long incision through the wall of the left ventricle. Carefully pull the wall back and observe the various tissues. 36. Use a metric ruler to measure the thickness of the wall of the left ventricle in millimeters and record the measurement. 37. Compare the thickness of the wall of the left ventricle to the wall of the right ventricle. 38. Find the mitral valve, sometimes called the bicuspid valve in the left ventricle. It looks similar in appearance to the tricuspid valve. In the space below, describe its appearance. 39. In the space below, explain the function of the mitral valve. 40. Check with which structure is the aorta by placing your finger or a probe into it. It should lead directly to the left ventricle. Cut open the aorta and observe the thickness of the tissue. This may also get you a better view of the mitral valve. Which like actually cut open? Did you actually cut through there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 41. Cut open the other major blood vessels you labeled in the external dissection. In the space below, describe how the thickness of the aorta compares to the other great vessels. Provide a reason for this difference. 42. Use your scalpel to cut the heart almost in half. The cut should go through the middle, but not all the way through to the other side. Leave a flap holding the organ together. For us, it's going to be at the base. It's not going to be on one of the ventricle sides. Use a probe as a pointer and starting with the superior vena cava, trace the flow of blood through the heart. In the space below, list the structures in order the blood would meet them during its travel through the heart. Include the valves, the lungs, and the extremity of your body on your list. Refer to your heart, to your heart box from activity 411 if needed. 44, reattach any labels that may have come off both hearts. Have your teacher check your dissection and your external labels. Follow your teacher's instructions and clean up.